Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. Today I'm drawing uh, a study on a painting uh, by Raphael, the famous Renaissance uh, painter. And um, I want to share with you my process and uh, my thoughts while I'm uh, doing this uh, study. I hope you are uh, well, uh, healthy, creative and uh, stay with me if you are interested to, to see how I will uh, draw this uh, study. Now the first thing I do is of course to print uh, the image that uh, I want to draw and uh, now I'll do um, uh, a one-to-one -one in scale uh, drawing. Um, firstly, with a ruler, I will draw some uh, vertical and horizontal lines on my print. Uh, I will start by drawing uh, a vertical line that runs through the middle of uh, uh, the mouth uh, and uh, the nose uh, and the center of uh, the forehead. This is uh, a three quarters almost uh, head, so it is a little bit uh, tricky. But uh, yeah, I'll draw these uh, lines uh, running through areas of uh, importance, like uh, the edge of uh, the chin, the edge of uh, the lower part of uh, the nose, uh, around um, running through the eyes, uh, the forehead, etc. And then I will do the same thing uh, on uh, my uh, piece of paper. Since this is a one-to-one -one in scale uh, drawing, uh, it will be much more uh, easy. So I'll draw these uh, lines carefully and um, I'll try at the same time to, um, to watch carefully my, uh, my, the painting that I am to draw, try to understand what, uh, where are the lights, uh, where are the shadows. But uh, firstly, I will have to define my shapes. So, using uh, a compass, I'll try to find, uh, um, as you see here, um, the, where, uh, in, where the face uh, will uh, end, will stop, will, uh, the edge of the face. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because, uh, you know, of course, the language is a barrier for me here. But uh, anyway, uh, the video explains uh, very well what I'm doing here. Uh, again, this is a one-to-one -one, uh, in scale uh, drawing, so it's very, very easy. You just uh, uh, open your compass uh, and then transfer these uh, um, intervals uh, on your uh, piece of uh, painting. Here, for example, I'll try to find how, uh, where the eye begin in comparison to my central vertical line, uh, where the eye of Virgin Mary will uh, end. Um, it's uh, <clears throat> um, like uh, it's very similar to the grid method uh, um, drawing, uh, but uh, here of course uh, it's we use less lines and uh, we try to use more our uh, eyes. So after I've uh, taken some basics uh, uh, here, I, I know where uh, the um, the face begins, where the nose begins, uh, the chin will end. I will start uh, little by little um, drawing lines uh, and uh, um, comparing uh, these lines that I'm seeing uh, on my uh, paper. I have to say that uh, <laughs> this is a very nice uh, process. It's uh, easy enough. Um, so uh, I invite you to try this yourselves and see uh, what you can do with it. Um, if you want, you can uh, draw, of course, uh, ma many more uh, lines, and you can so that you can be sure where uh, that you can find the correct shapes. Uh, I mean, you can draw many vertical and horizontal lines. Uh, if you are not uh, confident about uh, your that your draw will be very specific and uh, very correct, um, and then little by little I will try comparing uh, the the lines of the painting to to my lines and uh, draw them without uh, much uh, stress, without uh, much uh, uh, worries. Even if I do some mistake, uh, that's fine. Um, just make sure that uh, you draw um, uh, very lightly, you use your pencil very lightly here 
and um, of course uh, at this point <coughs> our uh, drawing looks nothing like uh, the painting but uh, we have uh, confidence that uh, uh, little by little uh, things will get uh, better As you see, I am uh, constantly trying to find uh, the correct shapes uh, with uh, my compass. To, uh, try to find where the edge of the head uh, uh, is. And um, also try to, to fit the shapes I see in between the, the horizontal uh, lines. This is an important uh, stage uh, of uh, the drawing as uh, it will define, it will give us a very strong basis for uh, the, the later parts of uh, the drawing, the shadowing of the drawing. Um, if this part uh, will not be achieved uh, correctly, then our drawing is uh, doomed, let's say, for uh, um, a study that uh, will look uh, different and than the original uh, painting. So make sure that you are uh, accurate, you, uh, you don't do any mistakes and many times if we do a, a mistake uh, early on with our compass, this mistake uh, can affect uh, everything uh, later. <coughs> As you see, little by little, I will define almost uh, every outline of my painting. I don't worry here about uh, um, any shadowing or something like that. I will just want to find uh, um, the the darker uh, lines of the eyes, uh, the where the chin ends, and etc. Um, if you, uh, when I'm transferring my drawings uh, uh, to paint them on a board, uh, this is what I'm doing. This is how I am uh, um, making, creating my drawings, and uh, they really are very accurate. Um, of course, uh, I don't always do shadowing on my drawings. If I have to to do a study later on, I will just make sure that I will find the outlines correctly. And then uh, I will uh, just use the outlines um, without any shadows to, um, to transfer them on my board and begin painting uh, on my board. Here you see me beginning with uh, shadowing my uh, drawing here and uh, as you see again I am in a very uh, relaxed mood. I haven't even drawn the, the mouth yet. I'll just uh, play a little bit with uh, my pencil and I'm using this uh, in a very very uh, light uh, way. When you, when you do a drawing like this um, on a white, uh, completely white piece of paper then it is important um, to realize that uh, we go from uh, uh, very light shadows to the darker uh, ones and um, it's almost as if we are painting uh, watercolor. Uh, painters of watercolor will agree with me uh, probably that uh, we go from very light uh, colors and value to from the lights to, to the darker ones. So this is what I'm doing here. Um, I'm uh, pretty much happy with uh, the, the, let's say, the outlines of this drawing and little by little now I will start covering uh, my white piece of paper with uh, uh, a, a layer of uh, shadows. Of course, in areas that I know they are darker, I will uh, uh, press my pencil a little more and I will darken my piece of paper a little more. Um, if uh, I want to, uh, to find any more shapes or if I'm not sure about uh, my shapes from the previous stage, I will again use my compass and will do these comparisons. Hi, I'm Antonis and I'm proud to present you my online course in iconography, Paint an Icon with me. This course will help you become a better iconographer and it will help you be more confident when talking and presenting your artwork. It will make you understand in depth the studio practices of a professional iconographer like me and you will get accustomed to what great iconography looks like. So learn in a simple and organized way everything you need about the materials, mediums and techniques in order to make a beautiful icon.
paint with me the icon of Christ, and learn how to paint better any icon you wish. I will see you at the studio. Very important for this kind of uh, drawing is uh, to be familiar with uh, your pencil, to know how um, the pencil behaves and uh, to really, um, to really uh, use and uh, yield the correct uh, pressure on it. It's uh, an amazing tool, of course, very simple, but um, really amazing and uh, you know as you draw the the edge of the pencil will become uh, um, more blunt uh, you have to take this uh, um, as your advantage and uh, almost uh, as i'm doing these uh, shadows now sometimes i feel that i'm just um, fondling the uh, the paper i'm just uh, very very soft on it and uh, i feel a very smooth sensation on um, my fingers um, it's uh, something that uh, you'll have to be um, familiar uh, to familiarize yourself with uh, the use of pencil and you will see how amazing uh, drawings you will do it's the same thing with uh, the brush um, we have to know how our uh, tools behave and um, this will only happen with uh, practice and um, time in our studio um, from this point uh, on, this study will be just, uh, I will uh, just do some comparisons and uh, I will try to, I will, I'm, I'm done with uh, measurements, I found where uh, the, the nose ends, where the eyes are, uh, how, where the mouth is placed, etc. I've defined those things, so now I will just uh, play with uh, shadowing uh, this beautiful face of uh, Virgin Mary. Um, the, the most important thing uh, at this stage is to just uh, use your eyes and uh, do the right uh, comparisons. We, I find that um, me and uh, many other drawers have a tendency to, to be fearful of uh, the shadows um, they leave large areas of uh, the paper completely white and um, this is uh, this is uh, not correct I would say um, this is um, a sign that we don't use really uh, comparisons and we don't really use our eyes in on the on the painting print on here, uh, there's uh, very few things uh, that uh, could be left uh, completely white as the, the tip of the nose, there is a highlight there. So that could be probably my uh, white of the paper, um, that area of the nose. Everything else has somehow to be covered with uh, a layer of graphite, um, a layer or two or more, you know. So little by little I will uh, try to compare, I will half close my eyes and do these comparisons. Um, for example, you have to see how the, the hair uh, at some point uh, lower, on the lower uh, right part uh, are darker than the background and then on the upper part uh, the hair uh, are uh, lighter than the background. And you have to keep this also in your uh, drawing to make this, this same relationship uh, appear. Um, you have to compare the darkness around the, the eyes and uh, try to understand how these things uh, uh, compare to each other. Uh, don't be afraid to go dark, of course gradually, since um, here uh, we can really use uh, um, an eraser, yes, we can use an eraser, but uh, I try to uh, to use the eraser as less as possible. It's really like uh, painting with watercolor, where you you don't use white, or it's very difficult to do any corrections. Um, this, uh, let's say, very smooth transitions that we see on the painting by Raphael are um, achieved by the very soft use of the pencil, the very uh, light use of the pencil. And uh, of course, uh, um, as I said, when the pencil becomes very, very uh, blunt, uh, this is also a very nice um, uh, way to achieve this smoothness, uh, this uh, smoke-like, sfumato-like uh, uh, effect.
Um, again, I want to thank you so much at this point for supporting me on uh, Patreon.com. Um, you can visit this uh, my page there, and uh, if you like, uh, you can uh, financially uh, give your support uh, on the production of these videos. Um, and uh, I want to hear to to thank uh, all of you for uh, being here, uh, subscribing, uh, and if you like, uh, press the the like the like uh, button to so that more people will uh, share this video. Um, now, this uh, drawing little by little. Uh, um, appears it looks uh, nice uh, um, okay you know uh, I'm not Raphael I'm a different person with uh, another nervous system painting is uh, um, very much based on uh, our uh, um, nervous system muscle uh, uh, system etc uh, so I don't expect to to draw something that is absolutely um, like Raphael, but uh, the meaning of this study is to just try and see where my lights are, where my shadows are. So when I will transfer this drawing on my board to to paint it, I will be much familiar with um, the shapes of light, the shapes of uh, shadow, uh, the mouth. I will have spent some time observing the, um, the painting of Raphael and uh, uh, it will be easier for me to, to, paint, uh, to paint it with color later on. Uh, the the piece of paper that I'm using uh, is not uh, something uh, fancy. It's just here an office uh, paper A4. My pencil is uh, soft, very soft. It's an uh, eight uh, eight B in softness, and uh, I just use a regular uh, eraser, a ruler, and my compass. Um, this was a very very satisfying process. I would say the first part is simpler. Try to find the exact um, uh, shapes uh, and uh, lines and uh, later on it gets a little bit more complicated but do spend some time. This drawing took me around uh, uh, three hours to complete maybe three hours and uh, some minutes I, I, get, I believe uh, spend some time, uh, see what you can achieve and just uh, really enjoy this beautiful uh, process and the beautiful result. Um, so, I hope you liked, uh, you learned something uh, out of uh, this. Uh, here you see in real time how slowly I draw these uh, shadows. Uh, it's a really slow process and uh, you can also see here how softly I uh, use uh, in some areas the pencil. Of course, when you are to go dark, you will uh, uh, press the pencil a lot, but uh, at many other areas you'll just have to be very, very gentle with your uh, pencil. Anyway, um, it's always uh, very, very satisfying to, to talk to you. I hope you will uh, try this process. Uh, you can uh, gift your drawings to your friends uh, after that. It's something that can happen uh, quick and it's always a very, very nice uh, gift to share with people you love. Um, thank you again so much for being here. And... Um, I will see you soon with uh, another video. Be well, creative and uh, healthy. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.